the detailed accounts of Dr. Jonathan Reed's alleged alien encounter in the woods. In the fall of 1996, Dr. Jonathan Reed, a Seattle-based psychologist, experienced an event that challenged the boundaries of reality and stretched the human imagination. While hiking with his golden retriever, Susie, in the Cascade Mountains near Seattle, Reed encountered what he claims was an extraterrestrial life form. That day, while the pair wandered through the wilderness, Susie dashed off into the woods after something that had caught her attention. After a few minutes of searching for her, Reed was drawn to a strange, high-pitched oscillating sound. As he approached the source of the noise, he stumbled upon a nightmarish scene. A bizarre, otherworldly creature was standing over the lifeless body of Susie. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to The Dr. Creepy Show. It's a small click for you, but for us, it really means a lot. We have such sights to show you. Now let's get into it, shall we? The creature was unlike anything Reed had ever seen. It was about four feet tall with a skeletal, humanoid frame. Its skin was an eerie mix of gray and white, and its large, black, almond-shaped eyes were devoid of emotion. Reed reported that the creature seemed to be wearing a seamless, metallic black suit that covered its entire body. According to Jonathan, the creature was described as humanoid, with a height of around four feet. It had large, black, almond-shaped eyes, and its skin was gray-white, almost like parchment. Its body was stiff and cold, and it didn't seem to have a muscular system like humans do. It didn't have a nose or ears, and its mouth was merely a small slit. Reed claimed that the creature wore a black, metallic garment that was extremely resilient, and a silver bracelet on its left wrist. In a state of shock and grief over the loss of Susie, Reed picked up a large branch and struck the creature which fell unconscious. Reed then did something utterly astonishing. He brought the creature in an obelisk-shaped device it had been holding home with him. Now for the evidence. Over the next few days, Reed took numerous photographs and videos of the creature and the device. The device, according to Reed, had the ability to render the creature in itself invisible and create a distortion field around them. Reed also reported that the creature was alive for a short period in his home before it vanished, leaving behind only the device. According to Jonathan, the creature was described as humanoid, with a height of around four feet. It had large, black, almond-shaped eyes, and its skin was gray-white, almost like parchment. Its body was stiff and cold, and it didn't seem to have a muscular system like humans do. It didn't have a nose or ears, and its mouth was merely a small slit. Reed claimed that the creature wore a black, metallic garment that was extremely resilient and a silver bracelet on its left wrist. Doctor, Jonathan Reed claimed to have a plethora of evidence supporting his alien encounter. He captured the entity in the obelisk-like device it was holding in a series of photographs and videos, which he later shared with the public. Here are the primary pieces of evidence Reed presented. Number one, the photographs and videos. The most compelling evidence Reed provided were images and video recordings of the alleged extraterrestrial entity and the mysterious device. The creature appeared humanoid but distinctly non-human, with grayish-white skin and large, black, almond-shaped eyes. The device, on the other hand, was obelisk-shaped and, according to Reed, had the power to render the creature and itself invisible and create a distortion field around them. Number 2 the physical evidence. Reed claimed to have retained physical evidence from his encounter. This included the obelisk-like device that he said could manipulate time and space, and a strange metallic bracelet that was reportedly on the creature's wrist. He also claimed that his dog, Susie, was killed by the creature, further solidifying the tangible impact of the encounter. Number three, witness testimony. Reed's friend, Robert Wraith, vouched for his story. Wraith claimed to have seen the creature while it was in Reed's home, providing a second-hand witness account of the incident. Number four, biological samples. Reed also claimed to have taken biological samples from the creature, including tissue and blood. However, the results of the analysis of these samples have been controversial, with some reports suggesting non-human DNA and others dismissing the samples as fraudulent. 
Number five, personal accounts. Reed's detailed personal accounts of the incident, which he shared on various radio shows and public forums, form an integral part of his evidence. His vivid descriptions and emotional recounting of the event added a layer of apparent authenticity to his narrative. Despite the amount of evidence Reed presented, many skeptics have questioned the authenticity of his claims. Criticisms range from the quality and credibility of the photographic and video evidence, to the alleged inconsistencies in his story, and the lack of independent verification of the physical and biological evidence. Regardless of the controversy, Reed's account remains one of the most famous and hotly debated stories in the annals of UFO encounters. Reed's story quickly spread, captivating UFO enthusiasts and skeptics alike. He appeared on renowned radio shows such as Coast to Coast, where he shared his bewildering tale and the evidence he had gathered. However, Reed's account has been met with substantial skepticism. Many have claimed that his story is nothing more than an elaborate hoax pointing to inconsistencies in his narrative and the lack of concrete evidence. Despite the controversy, Reed's story remains one of the most intriguing and debated cases in UFO history. Whether or not one chooses to believe in Reed's encounter, it certainly provides plenty of material for thought about the existence of extraterrestrial life and the nature of our reality. If you like this type of content, check out our other videos based on true accounts. We cover everything from ghosts, poltergeists, time slips, the strange and the unusual, and even your favorite movies.